Hi, this is a question um, about two cells and they've got internal resistance and they're in parallel. Um, it's weird to think about this circuit unless you simplify it and think of it as just one battery. Now, in this case, that one battery would have the same EMF because the other two are in parallel. So you don't add the EMFs. Um, and it would have half of the internal resistance, which is uh, 1.5 ohms. So I've got something like battery, resistor, bulb. And it's always good to draw these circuits out and label what you can. So I've got two volts there, 1.5 ohms there. It's a 15 ohm bulb. Now, hopefully we can see what's going on. Calculate the PD across the bulb. Well, yeah, we could use uh, different ways to do this. I suppose it's um, using a sort of a ratios approach. It would be the, volt, the uh, resistance of the bulb over the total resistance times the total EMF, and that's going to be 15 divided by 16.5 times 2. That's going to be 1.82. And we need the current here because um, something about milliamps. What does that 1500 milliamps mean? It means the battery can provide 1.5 amps for uh, for one hour, so 1500 milliamps hours or 1 1.5 amp hours, 1 1.5 amps for one hour. Let's think about the current. In this case, um, that's going to be the voltage. I'm just using Ohm's law. That's going to be two divided by 16.5. Two divided by sixteen point five is one point zero point one two one amps. What am I doing writing V there? That's I. Um, now that current, though, going back to the original diagram, that current is going to split. So each battery only has to provide half of that current. So each battery only provides 0 0.6, 0 0.0606 amps. Comparing that with my 1.5 amps for one hour, um, I'm going to do 1.5 divided by 0 0.606. And that's going to tell me that it would run for 24.8 hours.